with a heavy heart that we are here today, still shocked and heartbroken about the murder of eight in Georgia, including six Asian American women by a gunman who targeted three Asian businesses, the first one being Young's Asian Massage, then driving 27 miles to two other Asian spas. His targets were no accident. And what we know is that this day was coming. Today we find that there have been nearly 3,800 anti-Asian hate crimes and incidents in just the year alone. They were stoked by the words of former President Donald Trump, who sought to shift blame and anger away from his own flawed response to the coronavirus. He used racial slurs like Wuhan virus, China plague, and Kung flu, despite the fact that the CDC and the World Health Organization warned not to associate the virus with a specific ethnicity, country, or geographic region due to the stigma it causes. And even though Donald Trump is no longer president, I believe the most recent round of anti-Asian attacks are the aftermath of one year of hateful attacks and four years of ugly comments about immigrants and people of color. 